All right. Happy Wednesday. <clears throat> got some things to talk about. Oh, come on, man. Unbelievable. Got some things to talk about. Some things that I've learned in the past 24 hours. Because I'm sure you were expecting this to be an exhaust video. And as you can hear, it's not. Uh, okay, first things first. Uh, we've got to go get fuel. Because all I ever do on this bike is fuel it up. And that's no one's fault other than my own. Should probably zip my jacket up, huh? It's probably a good idea. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and ride to the gas station. I'm gonna fill up. Okay, we have fuel. Love that. Alright, fresh fuel. Some 92. His organ's weird as hell. Actually, I wanted to adjust my clutch real quick. Let's bring it out a little bit. Let's try that. Let's give that a go. Yeah, it feels better. Hello? Oh, it's way out now. All right. We're gonna play a game of will I make this light? Will I make it or are we gonna get a Prius that wants to go left? Oh my god, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make, I'm, I'm making it. All right, oh, all right. Uh, freeway it is. Interstate? Not a problem. Uh, okay, let's see how this works on the freeway. Uh, we got gas, we sat in school traffic, which is always fun, and now we're gonna test out the uh, mic on the freeway, which I hate when people do this shit, stuff, things. I hate when people uh, merge like into the slow lane when they are uh, <clears throat> coming from a second lane. It's just stupid. It's really dumb. Okay, here we are on the freeway. Fun times. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get this uh, started because I've done enough uh, messing around. So yesterday, had the uh, all the exhaust pieces to uh, put an exhaust on this 2024, but the Leonardo, or Leonardo, ha, the uh, Leo Vinci exhaust does not work with a 2024. And it is simply because when they changed the exhaust on the, um, there's a car coming up. When they changed the exhaust on the uh, 2024s, they left out a bracket. There's a bracket on like the left side, or I guess right side. Uh, the right side of the muffler and that doesn't exist anymore which is annoying so I called Triumph yesterday I'm like hey hey guy you got this part for me <laughs> they said no uh, we can order it I'm like well I mean yeah I, I could order it too sure but I like this dealership so I said okay how much is the part they said $63 I'm like huh for a tiny L bracket and he's like yeah but you need the screws and the, the rubber gaskets and some washers and stuff I'm like so What's the damage? It's gonna be like it's like over hundred bucks. I'm like, ah, not worth it. Nope, not happening. And it's all because the Leo Vinci does not mount to the rear sets. I'm gonna throw pictures on the screen, or at least try to. I'm not very good at editing, but I'm gonna try to do that. Um, the Leo Vinci, there's no hanger for the rear set, so it makes it difficult because what's going on here? It makes it difficult because in order to use it, you have to have that bracket. Um, which is annoying. So uh, that was quickly delivered and returned because I didn't want to deal with that. So I have a new exhaust coming, um, and I'm not even. I'm not going to hold it back. I'm, it is the uh, Leo Vinci. Um, nope. Ha! Psych. Tried that. Wrong answer. Uh, it is the SC Projects. Yep. I splurged a little bit. I shouldn't have, but for the sake of uh, this nicer weather that we're getting. Um, and uh, just not wanting to be the quietest in the group, I figured that I should get the exhaust that I originally wanted, right? That's the good way to do it. That's the way I should have done it. Well, that's what I'm doing. So SC Project, the uh, S1, so the titanium with the, the, the noodle party going around, I uh, got that one, so I'm pretty excited about it. Um, but, but, there's another dilemma. And this isn't a bike specific year thing. This is just my luck with how these things go. Um, <laughs> the headers that I ordered from eBay, right? 
Great price, got there super quickly. Um, I think it's like Imperial Superbikes, I think it's the store. I'll, I'll link them. They, not affiliated, but uh, they were very nice. Um, uh, they didn't send me the clamp, right, that goes around the donut gasket uh, that sits on the stock headers. And while that would be fine if I didn't have that, um, I need that for the uh, S1, which is annoying. So another exhaust where I need to have, it's not like your typical just like kind of clamp thing. Um, it's like it, it actually like goes with the donut gasket that's on the, uh, the muffler itself, or I guess on the headers, uh, which is kind of annoying. So uh, <sighs> I called my favorite dealership again. Cascade Moto. I said, hey, I know I called yesterday asking for a part, but I got a different one for you. I figured you guys might have it because, well, it's it's an exhaust clamp and it fits along like, I think like 2017 and newer. So, I mean, you gotta have them, right? You should have them. And they were $16 online. I checked the part number. Uh, they were $16. So maybe they have them, right? Nope. Wrong answer again. They don't have them. So, uh, and it's not their fault, but ooh, 32. It's not their fault. So I had to order uh, one of those. So uh, I paid a little bit more for overnight shipping on the uh, SC projects and I got funneled. Well, not funneled. I ordered from CBC Moto. Um, ah, what's his name? I'll put, I'll put his, uh, I'll put their information uh, in, the, in the link or in the description. But um, yeah, super cool guy, super cool company. He's into Aprilia stuff, but he has a street triple. So he sells more Aprilia stuff. Um, and I messaged him last night after seeing somebody recommend him on Facebook and he was able to set me up with a um, S1 exhaust overnight shipping overnight so the exhaust will be here tomorrow the clamp won't be for five days so what I've done is I've ordered an exhaust clamp yes uh, a normal exhaust clamp because the way the exhaust mounts I think that I may be able to get away with just um, being able to uh, use whatever clamp for the time being because I just want to hear it man I'm so impatient I mean you see how fast I do all this stuff I've had this bike three weeks and I you know a bunch of stuff that's done to it but yeah I'm uh, very impatient with things uh, it's a bad trait I have but this is one of the arguably the most important uh, piece to any motorcycle so I'm not gonna not so yeah that's my exhaust dilemma and then uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my day yesterday because it was going very well. It was just like this, beautiful out. It's uh, 73 out. I only have a t-shirt on under my mesh uh, Revit jacket, so, uh, and I'm not cold at all, so it's, I'm, I'm very happy. But yesterday, right? So I, after getting super upset with the exhaust not working, um, I put the exhaust back on, which is very easy. I have a full video on that, but I, I may put tidbits into it. Um, but very easy. Uh, I decided to go for a ride. Uh, uh, so I get my gear on, throw a leg over, start riding. I get kind of up to the mountains where I usually ride, where you see hello guy, where you usually see me uh, ride. And uh, <laughs> fuel light comes on. Sick. All right. Well, there's no gas stations anywhere near here. I'm going to have to leave the mountains to, uh, to go get fuel. Not a problem. Not a problem. I look at the time. It's, uh, it was, I think it was like 5.10. 5:15, and I'm like, well, I got this work thing at 5:30 that like I have to be on a computer for. So I'm sitting there, great weather, riding a bike, no gas, have a work thing in 15 minutes. So I had two options: I go get fuel and I try to do it on my phone at the gas station, or I just ride home and uh, give up the ride because obviously yesterday wasn't going too well for me. Uh, yeah rode home and gave up that was the that was the winner of yesterday so not too great not too stoked but today is a new day today is a better day not that i want to be like all like preachy like oh it's a great day if you make it but like I, you know truthfully it kind of is um but yeah so that's that was that's the exhaust dilemma in my day yesterday uh now i think we'll just we're just gonna ride um just a nice little ride today i don't know where i'm gonna go there's a fork in the road that either takes me up in the mountains or up onto the or down onto the 30. Um, but as of right now, all this traffic, we'll see. Uh, probably gonna get stuck behind cars because what I thought, I thought school was out today because, you know, I know somebody who didn't go to school today um, due to a teacher day. But apparently high school is uh, still in session and now out. So uh, my inability to do things the easy way. 
uh, due to me being impatient. So I could have sat and uh, waited for a company to come out with a full exhaust. I could have um, done a little bit more research before ordering the Leo Vinci and not cheaped out, which is it's not that it's a bad exhaust, right? It's not bad. It's just I know that other exhausts would have fit uh, if I would have just looked a little bit harder. But no threat. Um, I've learned my lesson. I have things coming. I have taken a breath. I've calmed down. Cool. All right, now we have no cars around us. Oh, except for that guy. Get this part of the road, so I don't want to go too crazy. Um, it's a lot of fun though, not having cars. It's a change of pace, right? We're so used to me not are always having cars. But I wonder when a school bus will show up. That's the real question. That's what I do have to be really careful about. I really want to take the uh, like the learning class for like advanced cornering and stuff. Oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Oh, right on my balls. So I've been uh, playing with, I guess not playing, but I've played with my, what is that place? I play with my tire pressures a little bit. Um, so I think, I want to say it's like 30, Six in the front, 37. Uh, I've lowered it a PSI. I'm, oh, it depends. Or PSI or two. I'm at 35 in the front and then 39 in the rear. Um, and while I feel like I may have more rear grip, the front doesn't seem as. Oh, well, I guess maybe. The front doesn't seem as like nimble on its feet. Like it has a lot more grip, which is a good thing, right? Like don't get me wrong, but I kind of miss the nimbleness of what it was, so I might throw a PSI back into the front, um, maybe into the rear too, and just see how that goes. What road is this? Is this Germantown? Yeah, I don't really want to go down, because that's a um, I might throw a PSI down. Go for it. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm tired, um, like my arms from gym, but... Well, no, I guess it's pretty flexible. All right, so I ended up in downtown. <clears throat> yep, not too bad. Not too bad of a day. I wanted to see some people hanging out. Um, so let's see if anything funny happens. Uh, yeah, no, there was a bunch I didn't record back there. I was just hanging out, man. It's just nice. I wanted to just listen to my music. And, uh, have a ball. That's what I do best. Oh, man, I love it down here. My wife and I fell in love with Portland because of this street alone right here. 23rd. All the shops and people. and It's just fun, man. It's just good. It's good you know? For triumph. Um... Yeah, so here we are on 23rd. Not a lot of activity going on. It's a Wednesday afternoon, although the weather is beautiful. I've said that multiple times. Um, yeah, I'm just riding. Man, it's not really going to be too much of a crazy video, but it is what it is. Um, I guess I could segue into something. I wanted to talk about some things that I need to relax because, like I mentioned previously, 
I've ordered a lot for this bike um, in the past couple weeks, but there's there's things that I think that the bike drastically needs. Um, and I've talked about them in previous um, videos, but I just, I can't seem to find exactly what works for this bike. Um, and that's just short brake and clutch levers or squeezers, if you're my buddy. Um, he calls them squeezers. It's the funniest shit I've ever heard in my life. Um, yeah, I want short levers. I just think they're so, uh -oh. I think they're so much more comfortable, easier to grab. I have pretty small hands, so that's a pretty big benefit. Um, so if anybody watching knows what fits this and that, um, yeah, let me know because I'm interested. I have a Evotec on my Trident and I do really like those. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like they make them for the uh, Street Triples, so quite of a bummer. But um, yeah, it's, uh, that's one thing. Gas mileage. Let's talk about some gas mileage, shall we? So I'm getting 43 right now, miles per gallon. That's uh, my average, which is pretty nice. Um, I mean, I, when I was riding kind of by myself, or I guess not filming, I wasn't going crazy. I was stuck behind a car. <laughs> Duh. So take that how you will. But uh, other than that, I mean, Pretty nice. Yeah, I'll take 43. I'm just tired of, I feel like I'm always filling this bike up and I get it. It's like 40 horsepower more than the Trident. So yeah, it's gonna take more fuel, but I didn't think it was gonna be like this bad. It's not like a sell the bike complaint, but it is something to think about. Expe Whoa, it is, that was cool. Uh, it is something to think about. If you're gonna be commuting on this bike, I luckily, uh, I use this strictly for pleasure, so for me, uh, the gas mileage isn't necessarily like a, a bad thing by any means, but man, if this thing drinks, I'll tell you what now, I think somebody asked what my average was, and I just, I didn't really, I've never really paid attention to it, um, so if you're watching this, and I didn't answer your question, because I don't think I did, um, I'm currently getting 43, and that's a mixture of mountain and, uh, city riding so not terrible if you're if you're good with the throttle if you're nice with it uh all right now, now we're gonna leave the city just wanted to ride down that street real quick and red light always fun title is just hey guy hey guy hey guy first day nevada huh Get a fast as Prius, that way. Um, yeah, this is a good road to go up. It's kind of cool. Look, I'm in like a wave of trees. It's cool. This is a jump. Yep, nailed it. Let's see how many miles I have on the uh, bike so far because I know I'm getting close to that 600. Probably put a good 30 on it today. 30. Oh, sorry. Uh, 444. Probably 450 by the time I get home. So I'm 150 miles away from uh, changing the oil, uh, which is good times. Good times. Um, I'm excited because I won't feel as bad about going hammer on this bike, um, which is a good thing. The truck's smoking. Uh, but regardless, uh, yeah. So I put 444 miles on this bike, um, and I'm still loving every second of it. Uh, I want to say I'm probably putting in, uh, I'm filling the tank every 100 miles because I think that was my fourth fuel up, fill up. Uh, I guess my, maybe it's the fifth because the dealer did give me a full tank, but I guess when that, uh, yeah. So let's say, let's say I'm putting this gas in this thing every 100 miles, which is decent. I'll take it. It's like $10 and it's a hoot. So $10 to, you know, ride 100 miles. Uh, it's, I feel like that's a good deal. It's a good deal. It's, it's no... The Trident gets really good. I think that thing averages like 63 even when I'm, you know, giving it the hammer spanking. And then the uh, the 310 that I had before, man, I think would get like 80. <laughs> hey, guy. Hey, guy. Uh, yep. Yeah. Alright. Good old merge. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it's to be expected with bikes of this uh, stature, I guess. That's probably not the right word. That, uh, Oh, no one did it with me. Okay. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close it out here. 
I'm sorry, I know that you were, again, expecting a, an exhaust video, because um, I think I teased it in the last video, uh, but things happen, and you just gotta move past them. This is the only thing you can do. Um, I'm on my way home now, uh, but things that we've covered is exhaust bullshit. I'm gonna cuss there, because it is actual bullshit. Um, I got gas. Although I don't think you saw that. I sat in traffic. Yep, typical. Uh, I rode some roads. Yep, like I'm doing right now. Sweet. Got to ride on the roads. This isn't a dirt bike. Uh, talked about things that I think that, the, that I want to go after next. Um, just because, oh my golly. Man, right my balls again. Oh. Um, yeah, so some levers, some shorties, some squeezers. If you're my buddy, some squeezers. I'd like some small squeezers. Some, some ones, you know what I'm saying? Uh... And then gas mileage. Uh, gas mileage uh, is what I uh, talked about, and uh, yeah, that I have 400, had 444 miles on the bike. Now I'm 446. I probably won't hit 450. I might ride around until I hit 450, just for my OCD. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I'm not even sure if I'm going to post this video. Just I feel like I owe it to you guys to, I guess, let you know that I done goofed. But I hope you all have a great rest of your day, wherever you are, uh, whether it's morning, uh, afternoon, or evening. And uh, I will see you in the next video, which will be an exhaust video. All right, guys. Take care. Later.